Bravo. Very fine, very sensitive playing. A uh, really beautiful touch you have and a beautiful way of playing the piano. I want to discuss uh, the problems of playing uh, Bach on the piano and the things that one has to work out in order to make this music uh, convincing as piano music. If you look, for instance, at the third volume of the Spitter's biography of Bach, it has all the exercises that Bach gave to his students. And have you seen them? No, not really. Yeah, they based around the idea of chorales, and there are a series of chord progressions that go somewhere and uh, go back to some, something. They have a direction. He's teaching them voice leading, but at the same time, it's music. And it's not just dry exercises, and one should look at them. They're full of mistakes, by the way, because I think they were student copies, and so he just collected them, and there's a lot of uh, mistakes, but there are many interesting things one hears. And I think the concept of a chorale uh, is something that should guide you in the playing because it'll show you where you're going, where are the points of climax, where are the points of tension, uh, and where are the relaxations, and how is it going. You have to create what, I, what is called linear progressions, for instance, um, hearing an interval in, unfold in time. Uh, and I think uh, you can be more aware of that and the other thing I would say is to not use too many pianistic effects like subito piano or, for instance, in the courant, uh, quite a, a strong sound. Yes, strong sound, but still having this rhythm of the courant, one, two, three, wum, bum, bum, yum, so that um, it doesn't become too pianistic as such, uh, which has, a, 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 it shouldn't be done. Now, um, the question of tempo brings us, again, it's a, a matter of taste to some extent, but I think the Allemand is so, so flowing, mm -hmm. but not too, not too rushed, not oh. too going forward. Um, let me just uh, play a little bit the, the first phrase and show you what I mean. Also, don't do the ornaments the first time around. It's the second time that you can do. So that, for instance, if you do... Do that. Now you have to hear the, this third and back. So that that's a whole phrase up to there. It's one statement. Then um, the tension gets more when you're getting into. Uh, a harmony that's not part of tonic dominant. So, so in very often in this piece, he'll go to E minor. But it's a tease. It's a tease because he's back on the dominant. And now you have, this expresses the dominant. Okay, now the second half fulfills this idea of going to E minor. Um, so it needs more tone because one has to show the amount of tension. That's a natural part of expressing the piece. Um, and so therefore it would be a little bit louder. And then you can use things from, uh, I do, from the harpsichord. Instead of, um, sorry. Um, uh, big leaps. Then be aware of, of the suspensions. Four, three, four, three, four, three, four. That's the end of E minor. And now it has to modulate back to uh, G major. Where 
on the dominant, pedal point on the dominant, back to the minor, neighbor, and now it confirms the key. All of these structural things have to be shown, otherwise the piece isn't a complete, uh, you, you don't hear it as a complete thought. Okay, try, try it now. I don't think, sorry, I don't think it should have any tension. Um, you're just expressing a third. You want to just play, play me just that. Now it goes to the neighbor. Sorry, the body. And this is ornamented by Bach himself. And again, it's that third with me that began the piece. That's sort of the motive for the whole piece. Relax. It's, it has, sorry, it has too much tension. Yes. To lead to the neighbor. Now diminuendo. No, I wouldn't do it. Now needs more attention, just a little bit. Lead to that, sorry. S stop. I would reduce it uh, when you're at home to the basic chords so that you know where, where things are going and so that it doesn't just um, sort of go, it has a direction to it. the high notes because they don't really uh, they don't disappear so that one hears you see so in other words you keep it in your mind There's a neighbor note. A neighbor note is dissonant, so I would play, play it with more tension. And then it changes and it goes back. Right. And go to the neighbor. This can be. Expressive. Pew. Keep the 
It's okay, more sound. You're in E minor. Sorry. Seven. Go to the seven. To the seven. Yeah, what note do you expect? And he doesn't he doesn't go there because he wants to get back into the register. This register. So you should think of that C going to the low register. Can you try just a little bit more singing in the sound? Just a bit. Courant, uh, uh, that was very nice. Uh, try the Courant at less of an, uh, um, less fast and less aggressive too. Ding, da, 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 ding. Now, to anything in, uh, in G major, there's a kind of lightness and blessedness. Yeah. If you think of the um, G major piano concerto of, um, yes. It has a tenderness, tenderness and, uh, I don't know, a, pu a purity that G major alone has or for the composers. And so, for instance, uh, linear progression um, it's from the G. You're basically, uh, the G has to sound in your mind, if not only. Do you see that? Um, and then now it's in the alto voice. So we hear that fourth because coming up. Sorry. D will be the most important note for the last four bars. But up to that, and, and the second time, to go to the key of the dominant. Yeah. Okay. That, that for me is a little too aggressive. 
it's forte, but it's not. Yes. No, sorry. Do you do you know what I mean with this this fourth? Da, yeah. da, de, da. Just slowly. Yeah. Not, this is not important for here. but the D. Yes, that's it. Okay, that's a good shape. For me, it's still a little bit too fast, but it has better shape. But now with the shape, be more subtle about it. Everything you do is, is right, but now it's very subtle, so that it's very natural. It's getting hard. Yes. Dance. One. Yeah, what is... In three, what's the nature of this courant? Which is a strong beat? The first beat. And the third goes to that. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, it's too much. You see, it's too much. Um, the, suddenly an accent. Even that shouldn't be that soft. One, two, three, one. subtle and dancing. Yeah, try again. I wouldn't do subido pianos there, just natural. Light and natural. No, not from the top, from the Not a subido. That's nice. Let's go on. Don't get too fast. This is, yeah, this is tension. This is much. Uh, uh, much more dramatic in a way, although it's not very dramatic. The whole period in E minor has to be with more tension than if in the other keys, than the tonic and the dominant. That's loud, that's loud. Yes, you remember, you remember I told you about, but this, Show me that. Do right. Right. Yes. But it starts. Yeah. Starting there. No. Starting there. That's it. That's it. You got it. E, E, E. Yes. You remember? Um, 
and now higher. Now more. Dance, 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 dance. Okay. Good, that's better. It has more charm. Now, the sarabande. I think this is a fast sarabande. Why? Because you have 16 bars in one go. Do you know the structure of this? Yes. 16 bars in the first section, 16 bars in the second section, but the last eight of those bars are sort of recapping. Oh. Uh, they go exactly to the first, yeah. uh, where is this? Do, the, oh, compare yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for that F natural, it's the same. Yeah. Uh, so it tries a recapitulation, play that. Yeah. Sing, sing. Okay, and that recapitulation doesn't really work because it doesn't get back to um, G major. And he tries it again. I, I would move it um, at least to the second bar. One, two, three. You see, that's one thought. Uh, if it's going... It, it won't be able to encompass 16 bars, then 16 bars, and then you have a coda of eight bars. So that's a very long... Um, my math is not good, but that's um, m many, many measures, much longer than the usual 16 measures or 24 measures. Is there a way you can lead it, sorry, if there's a way that you can lead it to the second measure, uh, relax. No, relax after the... No, I wouldn't play. Maybe it's that. Lead to the next measure. It's getting stuck. It always has to sing. Sorry. Yes, it always has to sing. If it gets too pianistic in a way, uh, uh, it, it doesn't. Um, I don't think carry. Imagine if it was a violin or something that you were accompanying. Yeah, that's good. Three, one. to the A, the A will connect to that G, where are you, D, ta, ta, and that holds, um, that won't be resolved till here, D, da, da, D, da, D, da. A. Yes, you 
see the, the, the G resolves. Yeah. It goes into the yeah. bass. That's good. You can use this as a hemiola. One, two, three, yeah. da dum. In order to change the rhythm from the three. Yeah. Okay. One and two and three and one. That's good. Now more tension, you're going going to E minor. Here you're in E minor. Keep. Now you cadence in E minor, and now you begin a recapitulation. It's exactly the first bar. Play it. And that didn't work, so now another. No, they keep it. I would take a little time here because this is a long eight bar phrase which isn't expected. Sostenuto tempo, not too much. Yes, does extra. Sing, sing. This is so beautiful. Now you have your closing cadence, not too loud. Connect, connect this, uh, the B to the A. Connect it. Okay, very good. Thanks very much.